During the Northern Hemisphere summer I saw lots of seedbed jewellery and that's what I'm going to make today. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here I share jewellery making projects and I show you how easy it is to make your own jewellery. So if that's something that you're interested in it would be great if you could subscribe. So what I'm making today is this necklace made from different coloured seed beads and I can't cr take credit for the design, I saw it on Etsy and it was made by Wavebox. So thank you Wavebox for your design, I hope you don't mind me ripping it off. <laughs> so let's get started and I will show you everything you need to make this necklace and walk you step by step through the process. This is a super simple necklace to make. All you need is some scissors, some cord and some seed beads. So I have here some 0.7 millimeter waxed cord and my 80 seed beads. So the colors I have here are orange red, goldenrod, dodger blue, pink, lilac, red and aquamarine. And these ones here are Atos as well, but they are uh, an opaque lusted, so they've got a little bit of a sheen on them. So that's all the materials that we need. I have a metre of thread here, and the reason I have a metre of thread is because uh, you need to make sure that you can stretch it out to go around your head, because it's all well and good to have a choker, but there's no point if you can't get it over your head. So you do need extra. I've zoomed in so that you can see closely. Now what I'm going to do first is thread on six of my white beads. So if you have any problems getting your beads through your cord through the holes, what you can do is take the cord in your hands and just give it a twist and what that will do is kind of cement the fibers back together because it's waxed, it'll warm the wax and Kind of make it all stick back together. So six of these little white seed beads. Now I am not going to make you watch me thread on all these seed beads but I will do the pattern. Now if you are interested I will leave a link in the description box below to a blog post, the corresponding blog post, which will have the layout diagram for the entire necklace. So I've got on my six white ones. Now I'm going to put on one of my goldenrod beads, then three of my orange red ones. If you still can't get it through the hole then just cut the tip off and that should work. Alright, so this is what I have now. I have my six white one goldenrod, three orange red and one goldenrod. Now I'm going to put on three of my white ones, another goldenrod and a, another orange red, one more goldenrod. So that's what I have now. And basically that's the pattern. So I'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way around using the different colours. Now I have all my seed beads on and as you can see I started and finished with a white, with six of the white, and I went red orange, dodger blue, pink, aquamarine, red, lilac, orange red, dodger blue and pink. As I said there'll be a, a layout diagram in the accompanying blog post. So to check that it's going to go over my head I'm going to measure it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically hold it up and put it oops, around my head like this and leaving a little bit of a tail. So that's how much my head measures. So you can see I've got this long tail here. So I need at least this plus a little bit more. So I'm actually going to to cut it about there. So that should give me enough of the end to cut out uh, to make the um, sliding knot. So I'm going to cut it there. So there you go, there's my necklace and what I want to do is I want to do the ends next. So to do the ends I'm going to pop on one of my goldenrod beads and I'm going to tie a knot in the end. So crossing over, tucking it through 
and pulling it all the way down to the end. Kind of use your fingernails to give it a good pull so that it's right on the end. If it falls off, do it again. <laughs> if you don't get it quite so close to the end, that's okay because you can always trim the end off. Third time lucky. That's maybe not quite so close to the end this time. There we go. All right, and I am going to trim the end off. Now I'm going to run my goldenrod bead right down to the end and I'm going to tie another knot and this time it's going to be right up hard, as hard as I can get it against that bead. Do the same on the other end. So pop your bead on first, tie your knot. Make sure you run your goldenrod bead down to the end and tie your second knot. All right, and now just trim off the end. So there's my necklace and what I can do is I can just make sure that the beads are kind of even on the, on the necklace or on the cord so that I have pretty much the same amount at both ends. There we go. Now to make this uh, sliding knot, which is why you're all here, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the piece of cord that I had cut off the end and I'm going to make a loop in one end, like that. Now I'm going to pop them that down on top of the place where the necklace is crossed and I'm going to pick it all up and hold it in my left hand or my non-dominant hand. Then I'm going to take the long tail and making sure that nothing is crossed over there, so I don't want this one crossing over this shorter one, I'm going to wrap it down to the back, underneath and up to the front. And then I'm going to repeat, repeat that four more times and I want it to be fairly loose it's quite hard to show you this because I have to put my thumb on it to stop it from moving. So how many have I got? One, two, three, four, and one more. Oops. So that's what I have now. Now what I want to do is take my tail and I'm going to thread it back up through all of those knots, uh, all of those loops, and out the other end. And then I'm going to put it through this loop. All right, now holding the, my thumb on the middle, I'm going to pull that end gently. And then I'm going to pull the other end gently. So that's what I have now. And it's just now a matter of adjusting it and pulling it very gently until you get it to the right shape, size, everything else. So it's just a, bit a matter of fiddling with it a little bit, making sure those knots are, those loops are sitting nicely, nice and flat beside each other. So before you want, to, before you cut it or anything, you just want to make sure that it's, everything will still slide, which it is, which is good. Nice and slidey. <laughs> and then just give it a bit of a tug, uh, just to make sure it's a, a little bit tighter. So that's what I have. And I can see one of them is uh, not sitting quite right, but I could play with that for a long time and make it sit perfectly. Now what I'm going to do, I've got these four ends here, so what I could do is I could take the ends of my knot and I could put a bead on each and leave it, leave it there so that I had four ends on my necklace but I don't want to do that. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take each end and I'm going to tie a knot, just like I did before, and get it nice and close up to the end of my uh, slip, slip knot. Pull it really tight, so that's what I have. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the other side. So 
So these knots will kind of disappear once you um, wear it a few times. So what I'm going to do now, that's what I have now. What I'm going to do next is just snip off those ends. So that's what my knot looks like. And just make sure that it still slips, which mine does. Always good. <laughs> and those ends, were, as I said, will just kind of blend in after, after it's been worn a few times. I hope you enjoyed making this summer fun necklace and more importantly the sliding knot. If you have enjoyed it, it would be great if you would subscribe to my channel and like the video and ring the bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Also check out our Instagram and our Facebook page because sometimes we upload things there that we don't post on to YouTube. If you would like to see the tutorial for the necklace, earrings and bracelet that I'm wearing today, I will leave a link in the description box below for those as well. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.